What are you doing? Walk with <laughs> Hi, Alyssa and CJ. Anyways, we're here for some breakfast. Hey, everybody thought Chick-fil-A was a good place to eat breakfast today. Let's go get some food. Well, that's Cohen's game. We'll be back later for Augie's game, but we have something else to go do real quick. Let's go look at these fresh meats. Dang. Dang, look at that. She should have told him to take the hubcaps off. They look like doo doo. Hey, another thing accomplished today. Well, time to go drop off that car and go back to soccer. <laughs> now we are at Audie's game and Lily's game. They're blue, we're playing against the white. Nice. Oh. So Audie's way over there. Lily is. Where is There's Lily. <laughs> All right, gas never gets super expensive again. This is how you save money on it. Let's look. Right now, it's three dollars nineteen cents, about twenty cents. So three dollars twenty cents, right? Well, we have this cool little hack that you can use. Not really, but we are going to be getting gas for what? What is that? Right? Two dollars and twenty cents. Yeah, let's fill them up. All right, door is full, and it she was full of $28. Now we're gonna fill up. Uh, I'm editing today's video, and we're about to read our daily devotion book. But I want to let you guys know that I tried to read a chapter in the Bible yesterday and my devotion book, and it failed. Something the file got corrupt or something, and didn't have time to redo it. So here we are today, we're going to read Be Disappointed, and this is out of our day-by-day -day devotion book for dads. Then Jesus returned to the disciples and found them asleep. He said to Peter, couldn't you watch me, watch with me even one hour? Matthew 26, 40. This is an amazing scene. Consider what Jesus had already done that night. He washed feet, broke bread shared wine, confirmed his earthly mission, pointed out the two men who would betray and deny him, asked God if all this was really necessary, sweat blood. All he wanted was for a few of his chosen disciple, disciples to stay awake for 60 minutes. They didn't do it. And Jesus let them know he was disappointed. Now there's a lot more to it than that. But I think there's a lesson for fathers in that scene. Honestly, for just about anybody. Our society suggests that we shouldn't make our kids feel bad. But it's okay to let our kids know when they have let us down. Of course we don't want to heap guilt onto our kids and make them feel like well dung. But if we have set clear expectations and clear deadlines and have caught them in the act of dropping the ball then we are responsible to let them know. We need to be able to say, Mike, I asked you to do this. What's going on? Or, Sarah, this shouldn't have been done by, this should have been done by now. I need you to make it right. Sometimes it's not easy being a dad. When necessary, you need to figure out a way to confront your children in love, firmness, and grace. What about you? When there's something that really needs to be done, 
often a dad will just do it himself rather than risk his having his son or daughter not get the job done right. That's more work for you and less responsibility for your children. But dad, can you see how that's a formula that steals from both you and them? Well, thank you guys for sticking around. If you can enjoy today's little vlog, I know it was it's kind of one of them short days of uh, soccer and kind of getting around the weekend doing some stuff. And don't worry, there is a lot more coming of what we did this weekend because I've got at least four more videos to edit just from this weekend. So this week should be filled with some awesome content. Go ahead, click that red subscribe button, ring that bell, and we will catch you in the next video. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just gotta fix your view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ